Addiction is a brain disease. The brain has become altered, and when a person starts a behavior, like a kid takes uh, some nicotine, what he doesn't know is nicotine stays in his brain for 30 days, mm -hmm. so he doesn't feel like he's got a problem. I haven't had a cigarette in three weeks. Right. But the fact is, the brain is adjusting, and so it feels like a choice when he starts. And what happens if he uses it to cope with stress and cope with pain, the actual way that the brain is structured shifts. It moves, even in gaming. We are now seeing that kids become so addicted to gaming that some, we are quite certain, some kids' brains don't actually unfold naturally. So what happens is that um, the brain is altered and it's self-administered. You do this for yourself and has a lot to do with how you perceive things. So, for example, you and I were joking before the show about this research out of Stanford where people were given a same bottle of wine. One group was told it's 90 bucks, other group is told it's 10 bucks. The group that got the 90 buck, they got higher than the group that had the 10 buck wine. So same wine, same one group wine, thought it was $10, so, the other's so, 90. Yeah, so it's really what your perception is. And so what happens then is that the brain actually then starts to reset itself, recalibrate itself. And then that person gets to a point where it crosses the line. It goes from where it's an impulse to where it becomes compulsive. And then it becomes addictive. And then you have a problem where a person can't stop. And they, they make promises to themselves they're going to stop, and they can't stop. Because the brain is now at a place where it can't go backwards by itself. So it's, it's a little bit like other things that you know of um, Alzheimer's or other brain diseases, there's now something wrong with the brain and we can see it. We can look at it, see pictures of it, we know that it's a problem and that it's treatable.